Hi, this is Lisa with JDS Industries, and today we're going to show you how to create a tile mural in Corel Draw. The first thing you'll need is a photo that is high resolution at the size of your completed mural. Okay, the next thing we need to do is create a grid in which we're going to drop this photo into and then break apart into the individual tiles. So today we're going to be using the four and a quarter inch tiles. So what we're going to do is draw a square, and we're actually going to make this slightly larger than our actual tile size. And this will allow for a little bit of a bleed so we don't end up with a, white, a slight white line around the edges of our tiles. The color will go all the way to each edge of the tile. So we're actually going to make this a 4 and 3 8 size. Okay. Next thing we need to do is make sure our nudge is at the size of our actual tile, so four and a quarter inches. And what that's going to do is we're going to copy and paste this to make our grid. And when we nudge our squares over, they'll drop into exactly the right spot that we need them. So we're going to copy and paste. We're going to make this a three by four grid. And you can see we the reason we did a four and a quarter inch nudge is so that our tiles will actually overlap slightly. I just need to go four down now. There, and that's our grid. Next thing we need to do is uh, combine these into a single object so we can drop their photo into these. Okay, so you just go to arrange and combine. Now combining is different than grouping, so we want because we want this to be a single object. Move that over a little bit, and then we're going to put place this photo behind our grid, and you want to kind of get it in a good spot. You don't want uh, these lines going through the middle of the couple's faces because you don't want their face disappearing into the grout lines between the tiles. So that looks pretty good. Next step we need to do is just power clip this into our grid, and the power clip tool is available on Corel Draw X3 and newer. Um, Otherwise, it's just a masking process that you would drop that into. Okay, so you go to select Effects, Power Clip, and Place Inside Container, and you'll get this big black arrow, and you just select your point to your grid, and that'll drop in there. So we just need to remove that black outline on our tiles. And the last step we, we need to do is break these apart so we can print each individual tile. So go to Arrange and Break Power Clip Curve Apart or control K. That breaks them all apart and so we can print as many tiles as we can fit on a sheet of paper. Okay. Now one thing to remember is that uh, within each one of these squares is a full size photo. So our file size dr uh, increased dramatically. So I can actually show you that. If you go to right click and edit contents, you'll see there is a full size photo in each one of these tiles. So now to reduce the, the file size so that your printing will go faster, um, there's a few things you can do. You can just take um, your tiles that you want to print at the time and place them on your page. And then you can actually delete the ones that you don't want to print and just print these and then come back and undo and then go with, place the next two on the page and delete the rest. Um, otherwise you can also um, take your individual tiles and copy and paste them each into a new file so that each, each tile or each page of tiles is its own file. That will decrease this, your file size also. Um, one other thing you can also do, uh, you could convert each one of these squares to bitmaps by going selecting your square and go convert to bitmap. And what that'll do is that'll remove that so that it's not an entire photo in each one of these. It'll just be the square. Of course, you won't be able to edit the photo once you do do that. Um, like if you needed to change where something was placed, you would not be able to do that any longer once you convert each square to a bitmap. And this is what our completed mural will end up looking like. If you'd like to see how to actually sublimate the ceramic tiles, check out our additional YouTube videos.
Thanks for watching. This has been Lisa with JDS Industries. For information on all of our sublimation products, go to jdsindustries.com slash sublimation. Thank you.